Hey, what's up hustlers? This is Barry with Workshop Hustle and this is the extended build video of how I built the custom chair for Dude Perfect. Let's dive in. So if you go watch the reveal video, that will explain why I built the chair, but this video is all about how I built it. Okay, and even though I was making fun of the guys at Dude Perfect a little bit over their lack of woodworking skills, I did make sure that this build also had some stuff involved in it that I had never done before. For one, I've never worked with epoxy in, in anything other than just filling cracks and voids. Second, I've never bent wood. And third, I've never built a chair that had somewhat similar Maloof style joinery. My goal was not just to build something that they thought was cool, but something that I could be proud of as far as pushing my own skills. So let's dive into the build. So to start, I needed to draw up a concept sketch to be able to put together a game plan for the build. Using a SketchUp printout of a folding chair, I traced a frame of the chair with some modifications. I wanted to bring in the Dude Perfect brand colors, which is why I went with teal and black. I marked out the dimensions of the various parts and started cutting pieces to size. I did this to mock up the chair to make sure that four 2x4s would work with the design, but in hindsight, cutting the long lengths into strips first would have saved time. This build does have a lot of details to it, so most of these clips are sped up and cut to not make this video incredibly long. I started prepping for the bent wood section by making the form for it. Before I did any glue ups, I needed to bend the wood into shape. So I soaked the long strips for 24 hours in water and then clamped it in the form to dry into the new shape. I needed to make forms for the epoxy sheets and in such a way that they could be used a couple times each. For this build, I am using Total Boat's 2 to 1 epoxy with the slow hardener.
After the sheets were cut into strips, I needed to make two long teal strips and one black one for the long bent frame. This ended up being very easy by sanding the ends and adding epoxy for the joint. After all the strips are ready and cut to size, it was a lot of epoxy glue ups. And once all the pieces were cured, they needed to be cleaned up to size for the assembly. For the leg joint, I used a sliding dovetail, and near the end of the build, I decided to accent the joint with some white epoxy. For the seat to chair frame joint, I knew the concept of a Maloof style joint would be strongest, but due to the bent frame, it was hard to plan the cut. I modified it to what I could work with and still allow that sculpted seat and frame look. Since all of the pieces of the chair are being made from small strips epoxied together, I knew the flex would be minimal and decided to not reinforce the joint with a screw like most Maloof joints. This chair is made entirely of 2x4s and epoxy. Using my Dremel with a depth control attachment, I cut out the DP logo. I had planned to tint this in teal, but there was a teal stripe that went perfectly between the letters. I think white ended up being a great choice.
Cutting and sanding the backrest proved to be the most confusing part. The backrest does not follow the line of the chair frame, but sits more vertical, allowing for a more comfortable backrest. Getting this angle correct took quite some time. Now that the chair is fully assembled, I dove into the carving design. I knew I wanted a sculpted chair, but not in a traditional sense. My inspiration for the edgy lines and flow of the top and bottom of the seat came from the sculpted lines of a wakeboard. I created a template for the edge and went from there. Let's dive into the carving. The majority of it was done using my Merlin 2 by King Arthur's Tools and various burr discs and sanding pads. Hey King, what's Dad working on? There you go, Bobby. He's a big fan. After sanding for what seemed like forever, I finally dove into applying finish. I'm using for the first time Total Boat's Halcyon finish in clear gloss. I brushed on two coats and sanded in between, and then I sprayed on a final coat. This actually worked better than any other water-based finish I've ever used, and the gloss made the chair itself resemble a basketball court.
get it. And I wanna thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the detailed look at how I built this chair. If you haven't already, go and check out the reveal video. It has a lot of cool aspects to it and I think you'll really like it. Also, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And that's all I've got. Peace.